Welcome to SSRS and BI tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have learned how to install and run SSRS web portal. In this part, I will show you how to customize SSRS web portal. Log into SSRS web portal, click setting icon, click site settings. Under general tab, you can change site title. In branding tab, you can change site icon and color by uploading a brand package. What is a brand package? Brand package is a zip file consists of these three files. You can download brand packages from Microsoft website and edit or replace them as per your requirements. Let me show how to do it. First replace logo.png file with your own logo. Open color.json file with any text editor. Replace color codes to get your desired look and feel. Select all three files and make a zip file with WinZip or WinRL like software. Editing color.json files with text editor is not easy. I have an Excel application which can help you to generate brand packages very easily and professionally. Here you can put the brand package name, select logo, select destination folder and color scheme you can change color with excel color picker then generate brand files. It's automatically generate brand file. Now it is time to upload the brand package. Everything has changed like magic. In download section, click here to download mobile report publisher. Click download. Download is in progress. It is a 43.7 megabyte file. I am pausing the video to complete the download process. Download completed. Let's install it. Installation is pretty simple just like any other software installation completed let's open the software from start menu it is a very user friendly software you can drag and drop various components from toolbar Click preview button to visualize and test the report. If everything ok, click save button to save it to your file system or report server. To make a real mobile report, you need to install another software called report builder. Let's download it first. Download is in progress. After download complete, run the installer and complete installation. Please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create reports and publish it to SSRS web portal.